This upload is designed to enable you to create a fully functional Excel menu where there are a large number of worksheets. Firstly, make sure the worksheet tabs have been named if not already. In our example, we'll be using around 14 worksheets which have been named after various cities in the US, but can be states, uh, months of the year, staff, etc. Ensure the very first sheet is named menu or similar. This is the sheet on which the linking to other sheets will be created. Next, on this sheet, click the insert command and choose a shape. I'll choose a rectangle with rounded corners. Then draw the shape on the, the worksheet. Then using Control D, copy that shape the number of times that you have worksheets. In other words, in this case, there'll be 14. Now drag the shapes into a neat order so that we can name them later. You might like, like to have three or four across. Now the next step is to name each of the shapes with the names that we see in the tabs at the bottom by clicking on the shape and typing the name. So there's the first one, menu, New York sales, etc. It's now time to create a link between the shapes and the actual tabs in the worksheet. We do this by right clicking on a shape and go down to link, click link, and then place in this document and click on the name of the worksheet that you're working on. So in this case, we'll click menu, OK. The next one will be New York sales, right click, link, place in this document, New York sales, click OK, and repeat that procedure for the rest of the sheets. Your ease of use menu is now available. Let's test it. Let's click on Washington sales. And we see that we're taken to that particular tab in the list at the bottom. To go back to the menu, we can click on menu. However, what I'm going to show you is how to create a small macro which will enable you to go back to the menu with a click on a command. To create a macro, we need to see the developer tab up here. If you don't see the developer tab, it's quite simple. Right click on the ribbon, customize the ribbon, and then over on the right in the main tabs, down here you'll see developer. Make sure there is a tick in developer and click OK. So let's create our little macro that will always take us back to the menu tab when we use it. First of all, click on developer and then record macro. Name the macro menu link, no spaces, and click OK. Now remember when we're recording a macro that whatever we do will be recorded. So we only want to click on the menu tab at the bottom and then click the stop recording command there and our macro has been recorded. We can test it. Let's go to, for example, Biloxi Sales and then in the Developer tab, click on the Macros and Run and we'll be taken straight back to the Menu tab. So we know that our macro is working fine. Let's now customise the ribbon so that we can add an icon to the ribbon to run the menu command so that irrespective of which tab we're in, 
we can click the icon to be taken back to the menu. Firstly, make sure you click the Home tab because that's where we want the icon to be, near the Home tab. Then right-click on the ribbon and customise the ribbon. And then down in the Main Tabs list, click New Tab. Click on New Tab Custom and Rename. Let's call it Macros. And OK. Now the new group. We're going to rename this to Menu Link. So let's click an icon, the smiley face, for example. Doesn't matter which one. And then we'll call this Menu Link. And click OK. Now with the Menu Link highlighted, go to the drop arrow for Popular Commands macros and you'll see the macro macro we created earlier menu link here click on it and choose add and ok and now up here in the uh, item list if you click macros there is your little menu link uh, icon that you can click to go back to the menu so let's test it let's go to for example atlanta sales that takes us to that sheet. We can see it here. And we want to go back to the menu. We don't want to click anywhere else, uh, just the icon. So menu link, and we're taken straight back to the menu. Ladies and gentlemen, that completes this upload. Thank you so much for watching. Remember that this can greatly increase the efficiency of your uh, Excel file where you have uh, lots of uh, worksheet tabs down in the bottom. You don't need to fiddle around by using the arrows here to go backwards and forwards to find the ones that you want. They're all before you. Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe unless you've already done so. We love likes and comments, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.